Ooh, how do you do again? This be Jan Jansson reporting from the Swedish ghetto. Part 2! Follow me and let's move it along here for the uh, other parts of the Swedish ghetto. That's what we are talking about today and to show you how it feels to be uh, in the most uh, top five country in the world but be dirty poor. I'm getting a call here on my iPhone. Hello, this is Jan. I told you I'm... Sh I am doing it. I'm shooting for you. I am in the Swedish ghetto. I'm, I'll finish this piece and I'll be done with it. I might, I might go back to Saint Tropez and hang with uh, Puff Diddy and uh, Rene. <sighs> uh, someone's walking by here. She's probably a prostitute, or something. And this might be the most accepting thing I have seen all day. It is a football field, but it is not regularly uh, official sized. It is probably 25, 30 meters. A uh, real soccer field is 100 meters uh, and grass. And there's, you can check this out, the, the goal. There's no, not a single thread of net in this goal. So the ball, you can kick the ball and the ball will go through this broken uh, fence with some, some probably some rapist who lives here has cut this open to come in and, and snatch children who play soccer or, uh, poorly. They maybe have a, they're playing with a little tennis ball, that's all they have to do. And, uh, but this is the smallest soccer field, we call it football field in Sweden, I've ever seen. Look, if, I, if I'm here and I'm going to score over there, How long does that take? About four or five seconds. It th should be taking about eight or nine for a fully grown adult to run the length of a soccer field. <coughs> but this is the ghetto. Of course, people in the Swedish ghetto can't count. Uh, so here we have another recycled tire swing, which is just right there, end it. It is sad, it is pathetic. But here we have we have a set of two, that is two, another two, that is four, another two with a bottom but still only count as two is six. And, but this one, what happened here? They, they burn it in, in despair and uh, protest. Should have been one here, should have been one here, but they're not. This is the Swedish ghetto. filthy here too. My Adidas are getting so so wet I have to buy new ones right away. Oh so filthy. Oh I think there's poo here. There's poo. There's child poo. So who do we have here in the Swedish ghetto? Plumbers, carpenters, lot of blue collared people, uh, uh, cleaners. <sighs> they probably drive the train, the bus, they pick up your mail in the morning, they maybe they rub your feet. Uh, all sorts of things that they probably want to do, but they can't because they are in the ghetto and they are unemployed. So what else are they going to do than uh, drink booze and beer and uh, inject heroin if they can afford it? I mean, that's why also the crime rate uh, is probably very high because uh, to get stuff you have to have money and they don't have work, so they have to steal. That's disturbing, really disturbing. And here we see uh, someone has some outdoor furniture, which is quite pathetic. But I'm guessing they have probably stolen them from a restaurant nearby and, uh, and uh, schlepped it here to, to show off with. It's right next to the entrance too. So they can be sitting there saying, look what I have that you don't. <clears throat> and they probably don't even live there. They probably live somewhere else, but they sit there to taunt others who are not getting into the crime because they don't want to play that game they you do the time you can't do the crime don't do it as the old uh, song says but uh now let's go and check out the uh, the cars and what they uh, ride on here in the ghetto and it's not going to be funny
take it uh, from me. I have seen a glimpse and it was a sad, I tell you very much. <coughs> it's, it's fucking cold now and disgusting. Why did we come here? I don't want to be here. I could have been banging Rene Selweger for the thousandth time in the south of France. Oh, here we have a perfect example of, of the kinds of lousy automobiles that poor people have to drive. If you just uh, pan left here, this is a Mercedes. I don't even know what kind of Mercedes this is. Oh, it's an A160. It's probably, I don't know, two, three years old. Has an awful color. Things like this is what you see here in the ghetto. Someone is actually riding this and they maybe have two or three children in this. Why does it have to be like this? I know they try. They really, really do. But it is sad. It's the truth here. It's the daily life in uh, the ghetto. It's like uh, Elvis once said in the ghetto. You don't know uh, what car you drive, but you can't drive to stay alive in the ghetto. <sighs> Peugeot, French car, who drives that if they're not really dirt poor? But this is the Swedish uh, ghetto. And uh, we are done here. We have shown you now you can maybe get on the phone, call your people, send uh, money or tell them how to... Oh, a Jaguar just passed us by from 19... 64 they had not they don't have enough money to buy a jaguar from 2007 they have to buy an, a jaguar from two, 64 or six, that could have been even earlier it's really sad but i have spent my heart and soul here in the swedish ghetto uh, i feed for these people and i think so should you and uh let's let's wrap it up uh, it's not the same jan jansson as you uh, know the happy go lucky entertainer but I am also into deep journalism and bringing you the truth how it, I see it there's a bird flying by he wants to probably fly home because he's sick of the ghetto okay I'll see you next time I think if I don't get mugged or killed before I leave this place this is Johnny Johnson signing off goodbye you have been watching what's up with Jan Johnson Swedish ghetto Swedish ghetto I'm in the Swedish